Tokyo is Japan's leading center of business and finance. It's the central hub for the bullet train system. But is it a place to take your family on vacation? I think so, and here are eight must-dos when you go. When you first arrive to Tokyo, we recommend using the amazing train system Japan has to offer. If you plan on going to more than two cities, it is recommended to get the Japan Rail Pass, which you need to obtain before you arrive in Japan. Otherwise, we recommend getting the Suica Pass. With these passes, you can get virtually anywhere in Tokyo, and it's the most cost-effective and enjoyable form of transportation. When you ride the trains, you will notice how quiet everyone is. It's you can almost hear a pin drop. If you have kids like us, you somehow have to convince them that they have to be quiet on the train. We told them that we would go to jail if they were too loud. There is no room. We just Sinira. stuffed Sinira. 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 <laughs> And just like that, there's nobody on the train. Everybody got off. Oof. Like magic. Yeah. <laughs> Takashita Street is a narrow street in downtown Tokyo. This famous street is known for its shops, boutiques, cafes, and fast food outlets. We came to this ramen house and uh, we sat down and like, you gotta, you gotta go over to the machine to order. So that's new for us. And then there was a guy that, at the machine that said, no, they were here first. And then he got a letter like, oh, no, what But he made us go, so we had to rush through it. So we don't know what we're eating. We'll see. This street has everything you could possibly want and some things you don't. There is so much to see and do from rainbow candy floss to an owl cafe. I, I like your cotton candy. Is it good? Hey, Pop! Hey, Pop! good. Hey, Pop. Hey, Pop. Hey, Pop. Hey, good. So Fun times for the whole family. Moriakan is a museum created by Japan's Science and Technology Agency. It's a must see if you're interested in understanding things that are happening in our world today from a science point of view. You get to see and experience firsthand the technological progress of today. Our favorite thing was seeing the robot that can run and play soccer. I'm pretty excited. We get to see Asimo, a robot. The ones that you've seen on TV yeah. for years from Japan, we're seeing them live. Yeah, live. At Mirikan, it's the uh, Science and Technology Center or something. What is it called? <laughs> Yeah, that sounds about Emerging right. science and Emerging. technology. That's, That's what right. it is. Mirror cane. Yeah. So cool. Was that amazing? Yeah. Do you want to build robots now? Yeah. Do you or want do you... that in your house? You want that yeah. Now? Yeah. Let's go I get it. I want to buy it. You want to buy it right now? Yeah. Oh, yeah, let's buy it. Plan on spending the whole day here as Mariah Ken is surrounded by an abundance of attractions and shopping as well. You can't go to Tokyo and not see the famous Shibuya Crossing. I am so cold. What are we doing? Going to Shibuya to see the famous crosswalk, the busiest in the world. No, I mean, oh, we freeze why our are we here? It's cold. Because it's fun. We gotta get out. It's best known for its incredible scramble that occurs every time the traffic light turns red, stopping all the vehicles in every direction to allow a huge wave of pedestrians to flood into the intersection. It's the world's busiest crossing with as many as 3,000 people crossing at a time. It's really a sight to be seen. That was crazy, there's so many people crossing the street. Where's my L? What'd you think of that? Amazing! Okay. Visit a themed restaurant. Some examples are the Robot Restaurant and Monster Cafe. We went to the Kawaii Monster Cafe. It's an over-the-top dinner theater featuring garishly colored dishes and performers decked out in wild eccentric outfits. I didn't expect to be scared, but this place is terrifying. Yeah, it's like All a these fun monsters. House. Oh. It's a fun house. It's a fun house. Can't wait for the show. What show? The Me? Show. Oh. The food is colorful and was pretty good. Sadly, Harajuku's iconic Hawaii Monster Cafe has permanently shut down as Harajuku will continue on and the new generations will always create new cultures. We are sure there will be similar restaurants opening soon. Visit the Meiji Shrine Temple. This shrine is dedicated to the deified spirits of the Emperor Meiji and his consorts. So we have to purify ourselves before we go into the temple. 
Use a ladle and you wash one hand and then the other and then you cleanse your mouth. He was the first emperor of modern Japan, born in 1852 and ascended to the throne in 1867. At the Meiji Temple, when you come into it, you have you bow when you come in as a sign of respect to the gods. And then we do the same thing when we leave as well. So it's uh, different rituals in different countries. And cultural learnings are so interesting. The entrance to the shrine grounds is marked by a massive torii gate. The spacious shrine grounds offers walking paths and are great for a relaxing stroll. This shrine is one of the most popular shrines to visit in Japan. You are in for a treat when you try the local cuisine in Tokyo. From ramen to sushi, you just can't go wrong in Tokyo. So we found a little sushi shop. No, right I by our place. It. Jaden Not found no. it, and we're having real, real sushi. How is it, Jaden? Come to the place. I don't know which. I don't know. We can't read the name, but we that's can't. okay. It's really yummy. We did, but I think it's like this little thing that like, like passes it around, and like it's, it's called a sushi food. train. Super good. Some of the food we had we never tried before and to this day we still can't replicate back in our home country of Canada. Make sure that you try the restaurants off the beaten path as we found these to be the most amazing places to eat. If you get a chance to stay in an Airbnb in Tokyo, you won't be disappointed. To stay in a traditional Japanese house will immerse you more into the culture of Japan and show you what it is like to live in Japan. We also found that staying in a neighborhood in Japan is where you find the most interesting restaurants and street malls. So tired, Jaden. We made it. We found our place in Tokyo, Japan. And it's got good Wi-Fi. Apparently in Japan, to cross the street, you need to be blind. Blind? Oh, he's got a walking stick. Oh. <laughs> Tokyo is a must-see city with lots to do. Although this video does not cover everything to do in Tokyo, we hope we helped you out in planning your trip to Japan. And oh yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you hit that like button for more fun videos.